He is the one that if you're cold, he'll he'll give you warmth. He is your your everything. He, I I was there, and and I was told that, and, and everything I ministered to the ladies today is if you have um, a load, especially with our children, you know, there's heavy loads. Give it to God. I have we have eight of them, and out of eight of them, we've all given them to God. And they, they're making it. Yeah, they're stumbling. Yeah, they're falling. Yeah, they're making mistakes. But we give them to God and let them know that God is their, their provider. You're not. You're just a human being. They, they can come to you, but have they gone to God? God should be first in their life. So uh, just don't, that's a wonderful scripture. Sister goes along with a lesson for the ladies, <laughs> for everybody. Amen. You're not alone. You're not alone. Lord, I just thank you for this word, Lord, and I ask you, Lord, to help me with this study, Lord. Be my voice and, and, and be with me, Lord. Speak through me. Clear my mind, Lord, so that I can deliver this as, uh, as you want it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Everybody's been listening to the news. We're getting a lot of calls. Uh, from people about the 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 horror in the news, the newscast uh, about the the, th the thousands. If you look at the news, no matter which station you put on, they'll show you Israel, they show you Gaza, they'll show you uh, Egypt, the the the, the, the other countries that are starting to stir, uh, and so. But in that in those pictures, look at the people's faces. Look at the horror on their faces. Thousands are fleeing. Thousands that have nothing to do with 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 with, with the actual war, or or they do have something to do, but it doesn't matter. What I want you to understand is that they're they're fleeing their countries. They're going. They're somewhere, nowhere, anywhere. They have. They're running like chickens without a ahead or uh, no place to, to, to go to uh, in every direction on their borders and you, you see the horror on their faces. That's what I look at. I look at the horror on these children, on the babies, and, uh, 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 all over the world. All over the world, not just in Jerusalem and, and Gaza, all over the world. The dead people, if you look at the, the beginning, uh, when the first bombs came, there was people lying dead on the ground. And the other people were running right over them. You know, it was, it's a horrible scene. And they're stepping on them, lying there on the ground. No, no one to pick them up. Or even see they are still breathing. You know, because they're so concerned about themselves, they can't stop. Because they're afraid of the bombs and everything that's happening. Every concern, everyone was concerned with their own needs and their own problems and oh, oh, what, what can anyone do? What can we do? What can anyone do? Buildings are exploding right behind the, the news people and uh, uh, with people in them. I mean people in the buildings. This is a very big, very, very, very big, very, very big warning. Yeah. It's a big warning God is sending us. In scripture it says the, the, the warning warning of birth pains will be there. And that's what the scripture said. This warning is already a hurry up. The baby's coming out type of a warning. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I hate to, well, I don't know, we'll still be here when the water breaks. Uh, yeah. This warning is hurry the up. The doctor, get the doctor, get the doctor, get the hot water. I don't know what the hot water for. The doctor, the baby is coming. Give me more painkillers. Give me the epidermal. Or, you know, this is this, this is beyond just simple little birth pain in the beginning. These are the come on. That's a bigger warning. This that you're seeing is a bigger warning than the ones we used to see back, way back. The baby is saying, I'm almost here. I'm almost here. It's no longer a sneak preview. It's no longer hurry with the popcorn. Go get the popcorn. Hurry, because the movie's about to start. 
Oh my gosh. And so all this you see and hear is not fake news. Thank you, Trump. And so it, it's God's promise. It's God's promise. My Lord, why don't the people hear? Why don't the people see? Why, why don't they understand your warnings? Why don't we get ready to meet the Lord? Why are, why are we still fooling around out there with, with, with las mañas, I call them, the, the, the habits the that we have? Manage. Yeah, the Lord, why, Lord, 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 why don't we turn from our wicked ways? Why don't we, híjole, especially our fallen Christians, brothers and sisters, the same as in uh, Noah's time. Yeah. Or re it's exactly. Repeat. History's repeating itself. Ay, ay, ay. Why? Why are people leaving the church instead of running into church? I don't care if every church, every mega church is, sh is showing a decline in people. Uh, uh, the, the, every, uh, every, I just met, an, uh, we just met a new pastor, and he's showing, it's a big church, and he's showing a terrible decline. Remember what I said? When the mega churches have to flip the lights on, it's thousands of dollars is their bill. Us is like 200, 300, because we're little. But they are hurting when people don't show up to church. I mean, that's just one point. <laughs> Isn't it, sister, like God separating the goats from the sheep, too? Yeah, could be, could be. Why are people leaving the church? Why are people backsliding? Why, Christians, are you backsliding? Why are children of God returning to their vomit? Why? Let's go to Isaiah 23. We're going to keep our 2, chapter 2. Isaiah chapter 2. We're going to keep our finger there because we're going to jump around. So... And if you don't have a marker, Carolina makes a cute little marker. It's a little worm, and it's got a little tail, and the tail goes there, and the little worm has eyes. It's so cute. I love my Isaiah, okay. Isaiah chapter 2. Show them. It's in my Bible right there. Thank you, Lord. In chapter 2, God, uh, Isaiah starts off, come on. He says, come on, let's go to verse 3. It says, many people will come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain. And right where it says the mountain, put a by pencil church. Put church. Come, let us go up to the church of the Lord. That's what he starts up with. He starts up with, come on. Verse 3, he starts off with, come on, let's go to church. Let's go to the mountain. That's where they, they, they met in mountainsides, outside the, uh, uh, on the ground, in little, little, little rooms, crowded like soldiers of Christ, like a church. Oh, by the way, just a quick note. If it's crowded on your pew, be nice and say something like, excuse me, I'm going to move to this other pew because I kind of spread out all over the place. Oh. Or say, uh, or say, I'm going to move over to this pew because we're too crowded. We're too crowded here and I want to give you more room. You have more room. Say something. Don't just walk out and make a face and, and they feel offended because they think they <coughs> run you off. So that's just a that's just a note, okay? So be nice and say something like "excuse me" or something nice, uh, and let them know you need you need more space. Hi, brother, good to see you. And then um, that that leaves room for when you just stand up and move out. That leaves room for uh, bad impressions. They, they, as we get more people, we will <coughs> be more crowded. Praise God. And we will be more crowded, so let's get used to that. So, and in verse 3, God is calling us to go to church. Let's go to the mountain. And I started to tell you that they used to meet in mountains. They used to meet in, 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 outside on the ground, on, the, uh, uh, on little rooms, wherever they could find a place to meet. And that was church at that time. 
So uh, here uh, uh, we 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 know how how to how to uh, live like that. We we would be okay. We had to be outside. We started Soldiers of Christ outside under um, uh, uh, washeterias in a, in apartment buildings. We would go to their patio, the the little square where they hung up clothes. They had the washeteria. The the owner of the uh, apartments would let us meet outside on the cement piece. Uh, uh, we baptized outside. We did everything outside. We sang from a cassette, you know. So we, we can do it, guys. We can do it. You don't have to, but we can do it. You can hear the word any old way as long as it's being presented. Verse four. Let's go to verse four. In verse four. He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many people. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up swords against nations, nor will they train for any war anymore. God is telling us in verse 4, listen to this. God is telling us in verse 4, Isaiah is. They were, there was many, we are many, we are many, we're crowded, we are many, many. Uh, 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 they had no air conditioners, uh, well, they had the open air, aire libre, and so, but many different attitudes with this many, many people around him. Many habits, all these people, they were, they, they loved the Lord, but they also had, their own attitudes, their own habits, their own characters, their own modos, their own manias. And there were noisy vendors where they were sitting on the ground trying to have church. There's vendors all over selling stuff and yelling, hey, buy me, buy here, buy here. Horses, carriages, ambulances, like the other day. <laughs> you know, get used to it. Get used to that racket and noise. You're not there for that. You're here to listen to the Word of God. It's unavoidable, all that stuff. It's unavoidable. That's life around other people. That's life in the world. And Isaiah continues in verse 4. He uses, he says, Use your swords, if you go with me, says nations, uh, they will beat their swords into plowshares. What he's saying there is use your swords and spears to do your gardening at home. Instead of fighting with them, go prune your roses. It says right there, I didn't say it, pruning. Uh, 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 use your spears into pruning hooks. Go do something else with your weapons, your swords and your, and your spears. Uh, don't use them to cut down people, cut down the trees. It's time for the tree brush to come through. So stop, stop that war, the, and that's what he says. Nor will they train anymore for war. And so not to cut, don't cut down the people. Brothers in Christ, don't cut down brothers in Christ. Don't cut down fallen Christians. Don't cut down the homeless, the hungry, the non-believers. Look at those poor people, you know. Uh, 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 don't, don't say that the, the people that you see on TV in their horrible, horrible war or there because they deserved it. You, you don't know. We don't know. Let's get together. Help each other to get ready for the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop fighting. A time is coming when there will be no more war. This is what Isaiah is telling us. A time is coming when there will be no war. Let us unite, stand together for God, for God's law, and for God's final promise. Good morning. Good morning. And and uh, children of God, he's talking to children of God. Be ready. Be ready. How are you? Good to see you. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. In board in in just a just a note. In the border between Canada and the United States. Uh, uh, there, there, there's a border and there's a border. There's other borders, but we're just going to talk about this border. The border of Canada and the United States of America is the largest, largest international border in the world. I bet you didn't know that. It's the largest international border in the world. 
5,525 miles long. The longest in the world. Okay, international, international border. They cut down trees, everything along the borderline is called, uh, they cut down, flatten it, and they call it the slash. The slash. They place large, giant stones, at approximately 8,000 of these stones along the border, along the border, to, to show people that is the dividing line between the United States and America. The slash. It represents a, rep a separation. It represents what a. What border was that? Canada. Oh, okay. Canada and the United States. Between, there's a separation between us and them. There's a separation. Don't lose sight of this message, guys. It is, it is. Don't say, uh oh, she's talking about me. You know, uh oh, somebody told her something. No, no, no. Don't lose sight of the message. It is about you. It is about me. It is about all of us. So stop it. It's a warning. It's the Holy Spirit moving in on all of us. We've been praying for months for the Holy Spirit to take control. The Holy Spirit is moving in on us, and you're being tested. You need to pass the test. We need to pass this test. We've been training for so long. Now you prayed for the Holy Spirit to come in, into this place, to come into you, to move, and He's moving, and you're being ouch and and pushed and and twisted. And, and God wants to see you're going to stand the test. Are you going to love my people? Are you going to work together for me? And mm -hmm. uh, so in all of and, 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 and He's moving in all of us, and here and throughout the whole world. Amen. He's squeezing and, sh and doing. The, we're all feeling birth pains, but some are feeling the, the actual baby actually coming out already. And, and we're feeling little birth pains here inside that little place of soldiers of Christ. As children of our Lord, as children of Jesus Christ, we look forward to the time when God will change uh, 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 that thing that separates us. Amen. God will change it for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, whether it's an attitude or whatever it is, God will change it. It hurts. It hurts, but you got to pass the test. And uh, uh, He will unite His children. He will unite His children. We, we need to stay united. He will unite all the nations in His time. That's what Isaiah is saying. This is scripture. It's not Sister Alicia. And so he will unite his children. He will unite all the nations across the world, starting with little bitty soldiers of Christ. But it's going to be under his rule. Not Sister Elisa's rule, not under <coughs> Pastor's rule, not under anybody's rule, but God's rule. That's what Isaiah is telling us in Isaiah. Uh, he's trying to tell us... Uh, 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 to try to imagine a world without division. Try to imagine your church without division, without confusion. Uh, and and try, try, and work at it. Work at it because, like Brother said, we need to be in one accord. What's our one accord? What is one mm -hmm. our accord? And Sister had that. Uh, uh, the word of the day said it again, and he said it again. So in one accord, in one court. The strain of one cord is, is, is easy to break. But when we're all united with the one cord, all of us are tied together to the one cord, they can't break us. They can't break you. They can't. It, God is our one accord. God is our one accord. That's the reason we, he made us. That's the reason we're here. Okay? Let's, um, let's work together to do God's work in one accord. That's in verse 5. Believe it or not, let's go to verse 5. That's what he said. Isaiah says on verse 5. Come! And remember what I said? We're using church where it says house now. Come on! Come, O church of Jacob. Let us walk 
in the light of the Lord. Let us walk in one accord. Stop this, this uh, dilly dallying uh, other stuff. Remember what I said last week. We look at the make the little things so big and a problem, and then the things that are big and important we make them little. We don't we we we, we don't see we don't see we don't don't understand that we gotta keep it straight. Okay, as children of the Lord, it is time. It is past time. The baby's almost here. Hey, baby, Jesus is almost here. <laughs> Amen. Christmas is coming. There's a song that my sister Carmen sings, and she's and, and I, 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 I'm going to read this song to you. I'm not going to sing it. Uh, uh, Billy, I call them the praise team. Billy and Carmen sing this song. It says, it touches this topic that we're on. It touches this topic. It says, oh sinner man, where are you going to run to on that day? And we're talking about the day of the Lord's coming. You run to the rock, and the rock was a melting. You run to the sea, and the sea was a boiling. You run to the moon, and the moon was bleeding. You run to the devil. And the devil was waiting. He's waiting for you. You run to the Lord now. Lord, Lord, won't you hide me? Well, we might say, I, I never knew you. You run to the Lord, and the Lord won't hide you. Jesus, Jesus, now we're calling on Jesus. Please forgive me on that day. Oh, sinner man, where are you going to run to? Where are you going to run to? And let's go to scripture with this song in mind. Because God confirms this song with scripture. Go to Isaiah chapter 2, verse 19. And I'm going to wait for you to get there. Isaiah 19 through 21. Amen. This is your confirmation of what we're talking about. He's coming near. You see the 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 pains all over the people's faces or that are being bombed and you see all the horror that's happening it's no longer a simple warning pain it is a almost a birth time it's almost birth time so the, verse 19 men will flee to the caves on the rocks this is confirmation of this song and to holes in the ground. They're hiding anywhere they can hide from this horror that's happening. From dread of their fear, from the fear, from the dread of the Lord. And the splendor of his majesty. They don't, they don't even want to see him. When he rises, when he rises to shake the earth. He's shaking the earth, and this is what people are doing. Running and hiding and, and screaming and, and running uh, everywhere. Are you ready? We're on 20 now. Isaiah chapter 2, verse, uh, chapter, I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 5, verse 20. Um, 19 through 21. Sorry, 19 through 21. Thank you, brother. In that day... Men will throw away to the rodents and the bats. They're going to be running into bat caves to hide and running into the holes of the rodents. And, and, they're, and they're going to throw out their idols and silver and idols of gold, which they made to worship. They will flee to the caverns in the rocks and to the overhanging crags from dread of the Lord. They are so fearful of this as happening uh, to them. They are so afraid of the things that God's going to do now. The splendor of His majesty is, is, is scaring them, and when He rises to shake the earth, it scares them. Stop trusting in man, I say, I say. Amen. Who has but a breath? The man only has a breath in his nostril. Of what good is he? Of what account is he? It is important that you understand that this song is right there in Scripture. 
you on that day of the Lord you will be fleeing all over the place trying to hide trying to build your your your, your security uh, uh, vaults on, on the ground and and, and uh, piling up food thinking that you're going to get away from it. But God says, no, you, once, it's, once those birth springs break, once the water breaks, once the baby is ready to come, it's coming. Ain't Amen. no stopping it. Ain't no stopping it. So get ready, guys. Stop just pit, piddling around and let's get ready ourselves. Now, don't worry about the other people. Be concerned about your, you. Will you make the race? Will we make the race? And he's talking. We're talking to everyone. Every Christian person needs to get back into the flow of the Lord. Get mm -hmm. back in His plan. Yes, we've all fallen. We've all been there in in in, in our in our uh, what the song says, our wicked ways. All of us. All of us. I haven't been in this world this long and not and, and been uh, a perfect, wonderful person, you know. Mm -hmm. We've all had wicked ways. There's no one here that can say that he had not been through wicked things. So let's just put everything aside and work for God. If we're willing to work for God, God will be the one to judge all that. In Jesus' name I pray. Repent, Lord, repent, I just thank you for this repent. word. And I ask you, Lord, to just lead us through, Lord, and help us to the, to, through the next steps, Lord. Help us to join ourselves together, Lord, for we're stronger together, Lord, than apart. In the name of Jesus, we will cling to you. And you be our strength. You be our, our, our direction. You be our path. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father.